hydrogen, the most abundant element in the universe. It's the element that powers the sun. And a potentially world-changing source of cleaner power. This is just the beginning. I'm Dallas Campbell, and I'm going on a global adventure. Welcome to Japan to find out how hydrogen could revolutionize transport, trade, and industry. No one's done this anywhere before. To make a cleaner. There's only water vapor coming out of the tailpipe. More sustainable future for all of us. We can transform our energy systems for good. The Netherlands and Venre Raceway. Hydrogen potentially provides lower carbon energy. So things like power stations or steelworks, planes, trains, you name it, could all be powered by hydrogen. But how does it work? To find out, I've come to Forza Hydrogen Racing from the University of Delft. They're testing a race car powered by a hydrogen fuel cell, and I've been allowed to drive it. Fuel cell on in three, two, one. Fuel cells are the key to harnessing hydrogen's emission-free power. Oh, this is magnificent. Believe it or not, this race car has no combustion engine driving it. And accelerate out the bend. Wow, the power of this. Only a fuel cell. So how does this hydrogen technology generate so much power? To understand that, we need to take this car apart. Sitting next to me is a 100-litre hydrogen tank, and behind my head, a 50-litre tank. These feed the key to unlocking hydrogen's power potential, the fuel cell. As hydrogen atoms travel between two charged plates, a membrane splits them into protons and electrons. The flowing electrons create an electric current, which, in the case of the Forza car, passes through a series of super batteries to power an electric motor. Meanwhile, back in the fuel cell, the electrons and protons combine with oxygen from the air to form water vapour, the only emission from this reaction. It drives just like an electric car, that smooth feeling you get when you push the pedal down. OK, let's open it up a little bit. The acceleration, it's just phenomenal. <laughs> okay, Dallas, box, box. Okay, turning off in three, two, one. Yep. Oh, I totally love this. Honestly, it's awesome. Yeah. It's really awesome. It's so easy to drive, it's so responsive, and it's got so much power. Yeah. You know, just tiny little movement on the on the gas it pedal goes. and you're away. It's yeah. absolutely breathtaking. I love it. Thank you so much for letting me drive this. You're very welcome. Oh, I'll take it. <laughs> that is an absolutely fantastic machine, properly showcasing the potential of hydrogen fuel cells. But the interesting thing is that potential is not just limited to race cars. In Germany, they're pioneering how to bring hydrogen fuel cell tech to the commuter. Germany is really, really serious about reducing the 8% of global emissions that cars produce, which is why you see more hydrogen cars like this one on the roads and the autobahns. And here, they've got a network of around 100 hydrogen filling stations, which is very useful because I need to fill up. Here we go, look at that. Hey, Caroline. Hi, Dennis. How are you? I'm very fine. Nice how to see you? you. Hey, listen, I want to know how easy this is to, to fill up a car up. And I, I've never done it. This is going to be my first time I'm filling up. I'm very happy to, to show you. OK. You just take the nozzle out. Right, so here we go. It looks just like a normal you know, petrol pump. So I just put it on and then click. Yeah, absolutely. And then it's really a closed system. So nothing can, so no hydrogen can escape. The technology is a little bit more sophisticated. Yes. 
than with conventional cars. It is okay. a really safe system. And then I just have to push the button and uh, you have and, to push the green button and then the refueling. The green button is, is pressed. Voila. A lot happens with that push of a button. First, the hydrogen is compressed to 700 times atmospheric pressure, so as much as possible can be squeezed into the car's tank. Then it's cooled to minus 40 degrees Celsius to counteract the heat generated by the compression and the speed with which the hydrogen enters the tank. As hydrogen flows in, the infrared connections between the car and the fueling system communicate constantly about the tank's temperature and adjust the pressure and flow if needed. In terms of speed... It's just comparable also to, to conventional cars. It just takes five minutes so to minutes. fuel up. Right. Yeah, That's just amazing. a couple of minutes and then it's full and you can just go and drive for 500 kilometers. We are done, so I gotta disconnect it. Oh, there we go. Pull it out. Honestly, that's so easy. It's so quick and easy. That's ridiculous. That's it. I've seen how hydrogen fuel cells and 21st century refueling tech could be the answer to reducing our transport emissions. It's a priority for cities around the world. And London is no different. Over 20 of the famous red London buses now run on hydrogen, and there is talk of powering the commuter clippers that run on the Thames with hydrogen too. The thing is, if we're gonna power all this stuff using fuel cells, we need to make a lot of hydrogen to run them. To find out how we do that sustainably, I've come to meet hydrogen expert Lisa Montanari. Shell are in the middle of transforming the energy system, but where does hydrogen fit into that? I would compare it in the energy transition as the Swiss army knife, because it has so many options to use. So it's very versatile. Think about the commercial road transport, the manufacturing industries like steel and cement, or hard to electrify sectors like aviation and marine. Hydrogen is a game changer. Obviously, you're not going to produce all hydrogen the same way, are you? No, most of the hydrogen today is produced by using natural gas. But if you're using natural gas, are there going to be things like CO2 emissions as a result of that? Exactly. But if you would capture the CO2 in the process, it's decarbonized hydrogen okay. with lower emissions. So you can do it a little bit cleaner. But what if you were to produce hydrogen just using renewables? If you would have the renewable power as a source for the production of hydrogen, you would get renewable hydrogen. And that process That's is what amazing. I'm about to show you now with uh, Yuan from Great. China. Great, so we have him here. Hi, Lisa. Hi, Dallas. <laughs> Welcome to our plant in Zanarko. Now I'm in my control room. Hey, it's great to see you. Um, thanks for joining us. Tell us how you're producing hydrogen. Well, we are making hydrogen, you know, by using renewable electricity from wind or solar to make hydrogen from water. Let me show you. This is it. Our 20 megawatt industrial electrolyzer plant. We have four uh, electrolyzers running 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Each of them is holding 9,000 liters of water. What takes place inside is generating hydrogen. Simply put, we electrify water. This electrification of water is called electrolysis. It's the reverse of what happens in a fuel cell. Pass a strong electric current through water and you split it into oxygen and hydrogen. The hydrogen can then be collected, ready for use. And how much hydrogen are they producing at that plant? We would expect about 2,800 tons a year, which is enough to fill 400 buses that that's each drive 200 lot. kilometers a day. It is, that's a lot of hydrogen. Wow. And you and how do you prove that it works, what you're doing at the plant? Yes. We supported the Winter Olympic and uh, Paralympic Games, you know, in 2022 in Zhanyako. And uh, there were 700, you know, buses and cars of which we are using our hydrogen, you know. That's great. Listen, thank you so much for joining us. Lisa, obviously, brilliant as that plant is, we're going to need a lot more hydrogen. Are there plans to build more electrolyzers like that one? Yes, but much bigger. 
One of these electrolyzers will be at the port of Rotterdam. That electrolyzer is expected to produce enough to fill 2,300 trucks per day. That is a lot. Those are big numbers. Lisa, thank you so much for taking the time to show me all of this. It's been absolutely fantastic. Most welcome. I'll tell you something. I have learned some stuff doing this. First, hydrogen fuel cells could power any motor vehicle you like. Second, filling up is safe, simple and quick. And third, Shell has the ambition to make enough hydrogen from renewable power to kickstart this energy revolution. Hydrogen really could be the future of renewable energy. I think this might just work. Next time, we go big with fuel cell powered trucks. I can feel it's smooth. Hydrogen powered freight ships. The Americans did this for the space shuttle and witness the dawn of emission-free aviation. You'll be able to buy tickets for London to Paris in just three years. If you've enjoyed this, watch the rest of the series here.